Hi everyone, today we are going to see the Electro method. Electro method is a part of decision making process. Electro method is nothing but elimination and choice translating reality. Electro method deals with the outranking relationship by using pairwise comparison among the alternative under each one of the criteria separately. We can do the Electro method by having by categorizing it into three steps one normalizing the decision matrix weighting the normalized decision matrix determine the concordance and discordance set so uh, for solving this we will uh, go on taking an example so the initial formula is xij is equal to aij divided by square root of total Tell sum of the individual square. So, for example, step one: normalizing the decision matrix. Here are my alternatives, and here are my criteria. That is C1, C2, C3, C4, and these are the indicator values. So, this is my uh, set of uh, problem which was given by the stakeholders. Uh, because in this method we assume that uh, the weights are already given the weights and the indicators are already given to us so uh, to in order to uh, create this uh, matrix into a normalized one by uh, deleting all the units i'm going to sum up all this by sum up all this by using this formula what this formula says is that we have to Square the individual uh, indicator value and sum it, sum it up, then take the square root of it and divide it by the individual indicator value. So that's what I did it here. Uh, and this is an uh, same, this is an alternatives, and these are the criteria. I have uh, squared all the individual values, then I've taken the sum of it, and then I go on, took the square root of it after this i've divided the individual value with this square rooted value which was given here by doing that i got a normalized decision matrix this is my step one which i've did it here then the step two is to weighting the normalized the normalizing the decision matrix so the uh, as i already said weights are given by the stakeholders uh, that so this will be given 0 0.2 0 0.15 0 0.4 0 0.25 and these are the normalized matrix which i uh, get from my first step after that i go on multiplying this weight with the criteria is given here c1 c2 c3 c4 for every criteria there there will be different weights and uh, my friends please remember the weights always will be sum up to one so if you sum up all this uh, weights it will be equal to one so uh, i've multiplied all the values here and i got this uh, weighted normalizing normalized matrix then my step three is the concordance set how to do the concordance set what we have to do is that we have now we have to listen very carefully that a1 a2 a3 and a1 a2 a3 i have changed the structure of the matrix into a1 a2 a3 and a1 a2 a3 here i am going to compare the alternatives with the alternatives as i said previously the definition is to compare among the alternatives so i am go on uh, will do the comparison the concordance will say the likes between them and the discordant will say the distance that how much it's this uh, dislike between them so uh, a1 and a1 will have uh, zero so a2 again a2 will have zero and a3 and a3 will have zero so now a1 and a2 uh, now we have to go on check here the difference like in what what values the a1 is more than a2 so like see uh, 0.124 and 0 0.050 the a1 is more than a2 so what will it do is if i open this one 
this is showing me that 0.2 plus 0.25 this is nothing but the weights like in a1 and a2 0.124 is greater than 0 0.050 so i'll go and put the weights of this into that cell that is 0 0.02 this is my weight i'm so i uh, put that 0 0.02 then i'll go and check the criteria tool this uh, 0 0.08 and 0 0.120 this is uh, a1 is less than a2 so i i won't put this weight then i'll move on to check the c3 and this is also a1 is less than a2 so i won't put the weight and when we come to c4 it's equal so i go and put the weight of c4 so what we have to do is we have to check greater than or equal to weights and you have to put it in the this cell value i think you understood so still i'll uh, go and check with this a3 yeah now come to a3 what we have to do is first we have to compare a3 with a1 okay so i've opened this cell so it show uh, a3 with a1 a3 with a1 0.149 is greater than 0.124 so i'll go and write with the weight of this that is 0.2 i have wrote here plus then i'll compare this 0 0.04 is not greater than 0 0.080 so i won't uh, put the weight of it and then i'll go and compare the c3 that's 0 0.30 is greater than yeah it's greater than uh, 0.154 so i'll put that weight that is 0.4 here uh, and 0 0.057 is not greater than 0 0.172 so i won't add up this weight by doing this process we'll get the concordance set this is the concordance set what i will do is i'll go and sum up uh, this i'll um, now do it is in a binary way that is uh, concordance set as whether it's concordance or not whether that cell is yes or no so one zero to make that pattern what i'll do is i'll sum up this a1 uh, cell and sum up this a2 cell and sum up this a3 cell so these are the summed version of it after that i'll go on sum with uh, some these values that is the uh, first i'll sum the column values and then i'll sum the row values that is 3.25 uh, to this uh, this i'm primarily doing because to, i to get the c bar value c bar is nothing but the uh, column addition and then the row addition of the total sum that is 3.25 divided by 6 6 because we have six values in the matrix by neglecting this 0 0 0 we have six values in the matrix so i go on doing that e37 divided by 6 that's my c bar value so now to get the binary uh, type of uh, concordance set uh, what i will do is that if the value is greater than uh, c bar value i'll put it as 1 otherwise 0 so here already 0 so 0 that c 0.45 is not greater than 0.54 so i put it 0 then 0 and when we come here it's 0 0.8 this is greater than the c bar value so i'll put it as 1 so by doing this i'll get the concordance set value i think this much part is clear for you now now we'll go to the step 4 that is the discordance set discordance set uh, is that we'll copy the weight normalized mat decision matter which, uh, which we have done here this will act as a base for us in the discordance set so i'll put it over here and copy it here what i'll do is that for the discordance set is that the maximum difference between the difference uh, values divided by the maximum value of the total uh, indicator value this will this looks complicated but it's not i'm telling you it's that a1 minus a2 a1 minus a3 First, you have to go and put A1 minus A2 and A3, then take A2, that is A2 minus A1, then A2 minus A3, then take A3, A3 minus A1, A3 minus A2. By doing this, you will get the values here. Like, uh, I'll give you an example A1 is 0.124 minus 0 0.050, that is 0 0.074 by doing this you can go on filling this value 
this is nothing but we have to uh, checking uh, we are working for a base value from this we can infer for the rough matrix that is to get the discordant set again I am uh, doing a1 a2 a3 and a1 a2 a3 excuse so, me low battery so sorry for that uh, what will I do is uh, a1 and a1 that is uh, oh, that is 0 obviously then a1 and a2 what I'll do is that a1 I'll go with the a1 minus a2 value so I'll go on check what is the maximum value out of it so the maximum value is 0 0.074 so I'll put it in the denominator that is the maximum value in the total a1 minus a2 so I'll put it in the denominator and divided by what is the maximum difference that is just check the minus value here and see the maximum distance between them like don't consider a sign after considering the minus value forget the sign then check the maximum difference between them that is 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 0 0.05 is the maximum so I am putting it here 0 0.051 divided by the total maximum value that is 0 0.074 so I will go on do uh, this thing like for a1 a3 so a1 minus a3 this is the a1 minus a3 uh, row so we have to check the maximum value here the maximum value here is uh, 0.154 yeah uh, 0.154 and the my negative value is ma maximum value is also 0.154 so this is 0.154 divided by 0.154 again I am telling you don't consider the negative sign here you have to check for the difference after considering for the difference then you should keep in mind this you are calculating for the distance so value matters not the sign then the same principle we have to sum up as we did for the concordant matrix you have to sum up sum up sum up then take d bar of it that is uh, the total uh, sum divided by 6 then same uh, like concordance that we have to add the binary uh, we have to get into the binary type of uh, matrix that is uh, compare this value with the d bar value if it's greater than uh, d bar then it's 1 or it's 0 so but through this we will get the concordance and discordance set uh, then uh, step 5 that this is the main step that we are going to aggregate the sum of the concordance and discordance value uh, this is my uh, concordance set and this is my discordance set and this is my aggregate uh, concordance and discordance set it's nothing but adding uh, putting an uh, and operator if it's uh, one at any cell it will be as one and uh, if it's one at at least one cell it will be as one so here is one one is one and here zero one is zero uh, so through this I got a1 a2 a3 that is uh, through this matrix we got an inference like a2 is greater than a1 this a2 is greater than a1 because there is a one value and a3 is greater than a2 so we can conclude that a3 is greater than a2 and a2 is greater than a1 um, this is it uh, this is the uh, electro method most of mostly this method is used to uh, filter the alternatives uh, sometimes it gives a result too but mostly it's used for filtration process thank you